my mic work. Oh. I, I, I believe it. Oh. Or I need to edit it out or whatever. But so this is this is about where I take pictures from. Sip with my phone. It looks good. Standing back here. I got a wide angle lens on this thing, so it's All good. Right. All right, we should be good. Okay. Welcome to Avalon Hobbies. This is Rob with Model Makers Union. Aaron Hello. with Model Makers Union, the owner of this beautiful store. We're now going to walk in and take a little tour around of the biggest, littlest model shop ever. <laughs> Sounds good. We're, we're, we're gonna expand this thing. Um, here's the display window. This is where all the, well, sorry about the reflection, all the new stuff goes. You're in a Buzz Lightyear, we got one of those too. Always got a kick out of this, COVID hours until the plague is over, which apparently it's not over yet, right? No. What do I know? Not a, I'm not a politician. Not a politician. We're not discussing politics here anyways. Aaron, you can kick in any time if I'm getting anything wrong. Sure. This is kind of the, uh, this is the train section. Oh, well, 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 we got guns with the trains. And scenery. And scenery. And boats. Anything that fits anywhere. We're running out of space. Running out of space. What the hell? Is, I didn't even know you had those. <laughs> That's cool. You can look around forever and always see something new. Indeed. Die cast. Aaron's known for getting all the hot die cast stuff that everybody wants. That's the Fast and Furious section. Oh, we have another section of die cast? Oh, yeah. Oh. Fast and Furious section. Sorry, guys. Now we got remote controlled tanks down here. Lots of them. Building materials. Rail rotors. I don't know how many there are around here, but I'm sure there's a few. It's our little display case. Oh, there we go. That looks a lot better than the scribble you had last time. Well, people you, keep eating. You changed away. changed it up. <laughs> this is behind the behind the uh, bench. Everything you could ever imagine, I'm sure. You keep everybody's wheel, wheels on the road, right? Oh yeah, parts for everybody. I mean, space is limited, so they hang their tools from the uh, roof, which is or the ceiling, which is a remarkably good idea. If you want glue, we got glue. Tires and wheels and rockets. More, more tools. More. <laughs> where's the Where's the alligator? He's in the next row next over. Row. <laughs> next row over. So we'll show you something cool: a remote-controlled alligator head. This is remote control everything. <laughs> There's the new one that Andy's showing off. And yeah, Andy's a pretty lucky guy because that's one hell of an expensive kit. And, and the actuator to make it tow. There. Can you see the price? That's not what I would pay, but <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> that's a rich man sport, the uh, remote control stuff. But yeah. Oh, there's the alligator boat. It's actually a boat. There's a boat. And apparently it's a bit of a good seller, eh? Yes. Oh, look at that one. Some fucking, you, you getting shit in here. The, yeah. <laughs> That's a big one, too. Toys for everybody. Here we got all the brass. And then this is where I spend a lot of my money. Tools. Good tools for everybody. Never regret good tools. Never regret good tools. Then you got a panther tucked up here, you know, tucked up. <laughs> they're, they're hidden everywhere. Here's all our sanding stick stuff. Mr. Hobby, Vallejo. Glues, propellers, tape. tape. <laughs> this is where I spend all my time, right here, this, this part, most of it. And so we have all of your testers paints. I don't know if that's the full line, but that's what's left. And then we got all the Tamiya paints. That's RC paints. I don't know anything about those. That's not my thing. <laughs> all our Alclads pigments. Lots of Alclads. All the Tamiya paint. That's the full range there, right? Yeah. Yep. And then. Angie Troy, this is your section, all the rigs. I got that one right there. And then, yeah, we got to go back. So 
So we got airplanes and airplanes and airplanes. Kit after kit after kit after kit after kit. Aaron's a good man. He gets us whatever we want. At rock bottom prices. There's a couple of Leopolds. I may do one one day. I don't know. More 116th. Same, running out of space. Yeah, it's, it's getting tighter in here by the minute, man. I'm telling you. Tomorrow my Bismarck arrives. Aaron's been kind enough to keep it aside for me. <laughs> and then uh, as the model master range is becoming phased out, we're now moving into mission models. So that's a good thing. We like that. And then cars. Gundams. Oh, does that ever look big on the screen? Eh? Look at that. <laughs> That's a lot of Gundams. That is a lot of Gundams. Everything you ever wanted there, boys. All little Bandai. Got the Star Wars stuff, which is cool. And yes, I'm going to take that one tonight. At Lunar Lander. No problem. Not on layaway. <laughs> <laughs> Stands. You know, whatever we ask Aaron to get, he gets, and he gets it in style. So we're pretty lucky to have a store like this, especially, like, I've been to lots of stores in Calgary, and they don't have this selection or the pricing. Well. That's a good thing. Yeah, it is a good thing. We have a lot of tall geeses. If anybody wants one, what are they going for? $35. $35. Bucks. We have made a we made a boo -boo, mistake. Made a boo-boo in ordering. So <laughs> there's lots of tall geese. Haven't Calgary made. people, if you're into that, give us a ring. May, may have got an extra zero in when I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> All the evergreen stuff, which I came in here the other day, mad, walked right by Aaron, asked what the hell was wrong. I needed plastic. I need it now for my stupid train. <laughs> then I vented afterwards. We were okay after that. More cars. Oh, all the shiny things you don't understand. Exactly. And then, who doesn't want that in their collection? I do. Can't afford it. I got a Bismarck to buy, though. All the Tamiya stuff. I almost got into the group build. Aaron almost had me. <laughs> didn't happen. I'm glad I wouldn't have made it anyways. Come on, you can still do it. You have days. I thought it was 10 days. Yeah, okay. I don't know when the deadline is now. Uh, three days. You can make it. You guys have seen me holding this kit. You guys all thought it was mine. It's not. But the box that I'm about to pick up tomorrow is. It'll be that size. It'll be that size. It's going to be awesome. And then here we are into the last of the die cast. I'm staying six feet away from Sheldon, and he has a mask on, so I'm safe. We found him employment after the show got cancelled. <laughs> Yeah, the show's done now, isn't it? Yeah. And then another display case uh, with die cast. Jet fuel, I'm assuming. Some kind of high, fuel. some kind of high-end fuel. Oh, there's another tank down there hiding. They're everywhere. And then this is uh this is just your guys' models no, that you customer know. Customer stuff. Customer stuff being displayed. Nice kit. And that was that is Avalon Hobbies. This is where we spend our time. Downstairs in the basement is where the club is happening, but we're not going to go down there right now. We'll we'll do that another time. There's no one here. So, <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for joining in. Say bye, Aaron. Bye. All right, bye bye. <laughs>